Hey, stock bros, what's up? All right, let's do another video here on how to set up Think or Swim, both on the Canadian and American side. I'm definitely on the Canadian side, so here we go. All right, uh, to begin, let's Google it, Think or Swim. Right away, we have TD Ameritrade and TD Direct Investing. TD Ameritrade, that is the American side. Open an account, download the program, follow the instructions, it's very simple. Now, both sides you can set up a, um, a paper trading account, which basically means you're trading on the real market, on the live market, just with, without your money, it's for practice. It's for practice. And it's great because you don't actually have to invest any money to learn. So you can use these paper trading accounts to grow in your skills and then obviously eventually make the transition towards a live account. So this is the American side, TD Ameritrade. And here, TD Direct Investing. This is for the Canadian side. Um, both links will be down below. But um, so you can go get started. Register. Set up all your information and then kind of load Windows, Mac, everything. So once we are fully set up, we can just go on think or swim. And before we start it up, I just wanted to show you guys how much of a clockwork this worked. This is Bad Bath and Beyond. I drew this line here as a support line. Once I noticed back on previous, um, Resistance and supports, which I'll, I'll do a video about that too, but look how well that has worked out. It bounced once, bounced another time, bounced it again, bounced it again, bounced it again, and now it's making higher highs. It just broke above the SMA line on that 180 day, four hour chart. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Once you get the technicals down, you can start um, really learning and uh, making some money off the market, that's for sure. All right, so once we're here, your setup will not look as like this. So there's a few things that I like to do first. Um, right away, we can go on um, chart settings, and here are some of my settings that I personally really like. Um, alerts, um, it comes as show alert. I like showing as an arrow, and here's the reason. If I was to set up an alert, let's just say, hey, I want to be notified if the price goes above this mark. You can just go right click and we can create a alert. We can just set up, hey, set it as above, below, everything. And this is what it would look otherwise. But because we have set up as an arrow only, it's a nice arrow right on the corner here super nice it's not annoying to the eye um and that's the reason why i choose to do arrow only um all right so these are my settings you can copy if you'd like um price axis i always set fit alerts studies and show study marks you can set up other patterns but uh, for me this is the most straightforward um, I always put it on auto because there's way too many different stocks and, and um, just the auto makes a nice uniform look for every one of the thicker symbols that we select. Um, time axis. Expansion area is an important one for me. The reason why I set up a 180 bars to the right is, um, is so that we can have this space from here to here, which makes for me much better on the eye. So it's not all the way um, to the right. And we can have a better view in my eyes. But if you want to change, the less that you go, the more the graph will be to the right. And the more that you add, then we're going to have um, a bigger space here. So let's go back here on um, a chart settings these are my favorite time frames and some of these are 
commonly used for every single trader and i would say 180 day four hour is the one that um i always start off with i want to see the direction um that matters quite a bit like if it's going up versus going down it's a lot easier to make money when the market's going up take tesla for example very bullish you do not want to bet against that that's for sure so 180 day four hour um 10 day 30 minutes depending on the stock some of these are most commonly used but i always like to keep all of them and i try to make sure that i before any purchase that i review at least two or three of these appearance so this is an important part if you don't select fill up i believe this is how it comes up um it's really up to your preference but mine i have it filled up color schemes you can select right on this um appearance chart volume here at the bottom you can have hey i do i want volume do i not want volume um volume is very important again there'll be another video on that in particular i don't really deal much with equities and options so i just left them the way that they were but um yeah so for here very simple another one now this is the part that is very important studies if we go on studies these are the studies that i that i like they're very very much used we have VWAP, um, EMA, SMA, RSI, MACD, and um, I'll do a video specifically on each one of them, what they mean and, and um, what's what, yeah, actually what they really mean. So those are the ones that I choose. You can select the studies here on the side. You can just type how, how I did, or you can just browse through a whole whack of studies, strategies, sets, there's everything. So, um, and I have this set as saved as together. So if in case I do change computers, I can just quickly go on their setup and I can load um, my previously saved studies. RSI, MACD, these are indicators to show, is this a good buy or is this a good sell? For example, um whenever it is above 70 that typically means that it's being overbought and what that can indicate is that the current graph will start to decline but when it is below 30 that is usually a sign that um that it can indicate a buy sign same thing with macd we like to see them both work in conjunction with each other um and and anyway, anyway these are just studies they give you a, a reference but they are not always a hundred percent guaranteed that the price will go up or will go down again just studies um okay so left hand corner watch list very important bottom left um i like to have a few watch lists so we can go plus sign. You can select all sorts of things here. You can even play Minesweep, eh? Um, so you select watch list, and then this is a new watch list that you can start to create. Now to add to your watch list, um, let me just minimize a few here. Yeah, to watch to your watch list, you can just click, so an empty spot, and then you can just type in the, the ticker symbol. If you don't know the ticker symbol, here's a nice way for you to look. So let's just say we're looking for Tesla. It comes up T S L A. Then we can just type T S L A. As soon as we do it, it comes up. Now to synchronize so that we can switch easy from one to the next, we have to make sure these are on the same pattern. So there's the two there symbol link, I guess it's called. These have to be in the same one. So you can select whatever color you'd like. Um, just make sure that the watch list matches um, your graph. If it isn't, nothing will happen. So depends where your purposes are. 
I always like to keep them the same. So that boom, switch from one to the next. So anyway, that wraps up a super quick sink or swim setup, both on the Canadian, the American side. Um, yeah, it's great. I love this. Technical analysis are much easier on think or swim. All right, so that wraps up another video here on an intro, how to set up think or swim. Like always, make sure you guys bazooka that like button. And um, most importantly, drink water. It's so good for the body. Anyway, see you guys.